Hi everyone, my name's Rebecca. Welcome back to my bookish travels. And today we are still taking another detour from doing a bookish related content because I just need to share, I know I cannot be the only one that is not mentally prepared for the last two episodes of Lovely Runner. If you guys watch Korean dramas and you have been watching this as it's been airing, I feel you. I have been doing the same and my mind is just racing. I am not ready for this to end. I am so worried about what's going to happen. I love Seoul and Sanjay together and I just, uh, I don't want anything bad to happen to my characters. But if you guys have watched this, you totally know the whole way along that they have just tortured our characters left, right and center. All the feels have happened. My emotions of heartbreak and joy are overflowing on both ends of this way scale. But in general, I am so worried about what they're going to do. But I have a theory and I just need to kind of share it. So if you guys have not watched Lovely Runner, then don't watch this last little bit that I'm going to do here because I don't want to spoil you. But my theory is that the beginning of this drama is also partly the end of this drama. Here's why. So Imsul got the three chances to go back in time, right? And each time she went back, it was try to fix something that happened to Sanjay. And afterwards, the final time, Sanjay ended up dying that fourth time. Now, flip to the following episode last week where they had it that she used up one of his three times on his watch to be able to go back in time so that she could make it that they'd never met. So he gets to live and she just has to live without him knowing who she is. I think that he ends up finding out that he still has two more chances to go back in time. And I have a feeling that the final one that he uses or the second to final one he uses is when he goes back and he falls in love with her and he makes it that he's there to protect her. But the reason why she has no recollection in the initial story arc of the timeline of him rescuing her and who he actually is, is because he did it in such a way that she doesn't remember him. So he already had that timeline of having it that she gets to live because maybe in the original before they all started having the ability to go back in time, maybe she did get killed originally by the taxi driver, who I have to tell you, I have never hated a character so much that has done so much in a drama, but had very much like no lines at all in a drama. And just seeing how they're like doing all these posts being like, don't hate me. I, I'm a I'm I'm a soul in Sanjay shipper too. Um, I feel so bad for this guy. <laughs> but in the drama, his character I detest. But anyway, I'm I'm getting off track here. My thought is that in the original story arc, what happened was she ended up she did get killed by the taxi driver. Sanjay didn't get there in time to save her, and I think he used the second or third time he went back and he did rescue her but in a way that she has no recollection of it at all. Because in the original story arc, he has her cell phone number. And he calls her. And he knows her. And he also was standing outside the room when she was having her whole freak out about the fact that she's like, why would you do that to me? Um, I honestly and truly am thinking that it's going to come full story arc the only difference is I think she's going to remember him and we're going to have it kind of come all the way back to the initial story arc that we were going through before Imsul got the ability when he committed suicide to actually do that. That's my thought. I think she originally died and Sanjay saved her. So I think like all of these like reversing time lapse time loops that they're able to kind of go through, I think that is a connection. Like they all somehow interconnect each other. But the other thing is the white puffer jacket who's the stalker. That is Imsol's puffer jacket in like the redone story arcs when she first goes back in time. So how is that girl connected? Now I had 
a, a, a friend that I have started chatting with um, about Korean dramas, specifically this one, um, that suggests that she thinks that that's like the original time jumper and that she thinks that might be Sanjay and Imsol's daughter, which like possibly that is a possible thing. But anyway, um, I'm not ready for Monday and Tuesdays to no longer be lovely runner days. Um, I am dreading the end of this. I'm so sad it's the end of it. I do not want this to be over. And I'm going to be so emotionally, like, (sighs) emotional damage is going to happen these next two episodes. I can just feel it. So for those of you that need a K-drama emotional support person, I'm your girl. Um, I feel you. And we're going to get through these last two episodes And we're going to come out the other side. It may destroy us, but, like, I don't want anything to happen to anyone. Like, I'm so invested in all of these characters having a happy ending, minus the taxi driver, because I really need to know further with why he is so dead set on all of this. But, ooh, I hadn't even thought of it. What if the white puffer jacket, what if she was, like, the first victim? And then she wanted to, like, or maybe she was his last victim, And then she wanted to, like, save all the other victims. I don't know. I'm so, oh, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get through this. uh, Hoiting. And I will see you guys in my next video. I'm probably going to be emotionally destroyed. And I will bring back a book-related content then for you guys. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you then. Bye.